victims living on Detroit's west side. Tonight, we learned the 63-year-old victim of a sex assault has died from her injuries. Hey, this is V about the facts. I am looking at this news article about a 63-year-old lady who was assaulted and raped and died from her injuries. I'm a, I, beautiful woman. What is wrong with these people? Let's, let's listen. It was an attack that horrified neighbors living on Detroit's west side. Tonight, we learned a 63-year-old victim of a sex assault has died from her injuries. That woman was left for dead last month at an abandoned church. And now police and prosecutors are eyeing new charges in the case. Let's get to Sean Light. He's left tonight with the update, Sean. Kimberly. Did I hear them say that they left her at an abandoned church? If that ain't the devil, I don't know what it is. We learned the 63-year-old victim of a sex assault has died from her injuries. That woman was left for dead last month at an abandoned church. And now police and prosecutors are eyeing new charges. Sean Light, he's live tonight with the update, Sean. Kimberly Karen, this is 63-year-old Shirley Bryant. She is a grandmother, a great-grandmother. She succumbed to her injuries in the hospital. Just horrible injuries here. I just spoke to her brother moments ago. She, she fought and hung in there as long as she could. Um, what they did was they, they, they said that she had went brain dead and that um, there wasn't very much more they could do. So they, uh, what the decision made was to take her off the machine and then let her go out gracefully. That's the voice of Graylin Regan speaking with us moments ago. He's the brother of 63-year-old Shirley Bryant. Bryant was viciously attacked November 14th. Police say one man, 44-year-old Elvin Shepard, beat the great-grandmother while another man sexually assaulted her, both allegedly leaving her for dead outside of a vacant church on the west side. Bryant had been in the hospital ever since, but this week she could not survive her injuries. Today, DPD back with the family, working to now make this a murder case. I have to say that I'm very thankful for the Detroit uh, Police Department. They, they have really did a great job on us. You know, uh, you know. I mean, I, I heard a lot of bad things about the department, but they have shown me a lot of good things about them on this part. You know, they got out here, they protested. You know, they got on foot, you know, and, and they took a personal interest in this, which really touched my heart on that. You know, I'm really grateful for them to do that. Back here live. In fact, Chief White said this case has shocked the entire community. I did check with DPD this afternoon. They are aware that Miss Bryant has passed away and they are seeking now murder charges in this case. We're live tonight. Sean, like local four, back to you. I know you'll continue to keep us posted, Sean. Thank you.